All right, everybody, making a very simple shrimp dish, okay? Scampi style shrimp, uh, which is a kind of, a, it almost sounds redundant because scampi and shrimp are kind of like in the same family, but you know, it's like that old school Italian like shrimp scampi dish. We're gonna do a quick saute of uh, shrimp that has like some lemon, some garlic, a little bit of butter, some fresh herbs, um, and I'm gonna put some Calabria chilies in it, and we're gonna serve it over polenta. All right, so that's what we're doing. Sort of like an Italian style shrimp scampi, you know, you know, quick dinner for your house. Make it happen. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some uh, some garlic crushed. So this this dish is like, um, it's, it's really simple. Shrimp, some fresh garlic, some lemon juice, a little bit of white wine. I'm gonna finish it with some butter. Like in the South, they use a lot of butter in Italy. You know, when you go to like Naples and the Amalfi Coast and, and, and along those lines, Sicily, there's a lot of, um, there's definitely a lot of butter in the food for sure. And uh, that's what I believe was gonna make the, uh, the sort of, the, that sort of lemony sauce come together. So we're gonna crush the garlic. I already made the polenta, because otherwise you'd be standing here for the next 45 minutes to an hour watching me stir polenta. But basically the polenta is, you know, it's cornmeal. This is like a coarse cornmeal, you know, dry corn. Um, and I cooked it with, uh, I just cooked it with some water. Now, if you had shrimp stock, you could definitely do that as well. Um, and then you just cook it and cook it and cook it until it gets really nice and soft. Um, and then I just added some mascarpone cheese to it, which is like a um, like an Italian style cream cheese to kind of thin it out. So here's how I, um, I crush the garlic. So I, I chop the garlic very fine after I get it out of the, um, out of the shells. me do this a hundred times. If you ever watch any of my cooking shows, I start almost every tip with garlic, with crushed garlic. I take some kosher salt and I put it right on top and I just kind of mix the salt and the garlic together and then get it going for a second and then I just start using the side of my knife to crush it. And the abrasiveness of the, um, of the salt helps to pulverize the garlic into a paste. Nacho and Stella are into this dish. You know, they like shrimp. All right. All right. So we have the, we have the, um, the garlic, then we have uh, some, I'm gonna just coarsely chop some parsley, Italian leaf parsley, you know, flat leaf parsley, and then a little bit of fresh thyme. We chop that up as well. You can use fresh oregano if you want, as opposed to time. Either one works nicely. And then we have some Calabrian chilies. These are the chilies from the south of Italy. Um, and they come packed in olive oil. I'm just gonna chop a few up. A little bit goes a long way. These are very spicy, but they're very fruity. They have a fabulous flavor to them. So I'm just gonna finally chop these up. Have them ready to go. And then I have some butter, unsalted. Always use unsalted butter when you're cooking. You can always add the salt later. There we go. And there's some white wine. I mean, usually for this, I'd use an Italian white wine, something nice and dry. And uh, then we have some shrimp, all right? And then we have the polenta. Let me show you the polenta. Check this out. And you can see it's just like this beautiful, cornmeal porridge, nice and creamy. And we're gonna put the shrimp on a bed of this already. All right, so let's start cooking. So, I'm gonna put our pan on high and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use a little canola oil to saute the shrimp. A nice light oil, vegetable oil or canola oil works really nicely. Peanut oil, if there's no peanut allergies in your family. Season the shrimp, the 
very simply, salt and pepper on both sides. These are known as U15s, which in the business is, it means under 15, U15s mean under 15 shrimp per pound. Okay, so if you have under 25s, they'd be smaller, because they'd be 25 or more, um, or about 25 to a pound, so obviously they'd be smaller. We, not, we like these nice big shrimp, especially for this dish. And then like, you know, you're know, you getting your mise en place ready, this is like really 90% of having a successful moment at the stove, right? You wanna have everything ready to go. I even have my, the bowl that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna serve the, um, the shrimp and the, uh, and the polenta in, and salt and pepper. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're gonna do with this. We are going to saute the shrimp about three quarters of the way. Get them nice and crusty, get a good crust on the outside. You can only achieve that if you have a hot pan. And then we're gonna take them out of the pan and then we're gonna make the pan sauce. You'll have some of the shrimp dripping, so to speak, in the pan. Um, and then we're gonna make like a white wine sauce with the garlic and the, and the Calabrian chilies, some lemon juice. Um, and then we're gonna finish it with the, some, some of the butter and a little bit of salt and pepper. Put it on top of the polenta and then I'm gonna finish it with a little extra virgin olive oil so you feel like you're getting your extra virgin olive oil fix. Because you are cooking Italian food, right? Okay, uh, can you see like the, 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 the smoke billowing? That's what you wanna see. Salt and pepper on the shrimp. And you wanna see that nice, you wanna hear that and see that nice sizzle. And we're only gonna flip these one time. And make sure you're not putting them on top of each other. You know, they each have their own space. I have a lemon, but before I cut into the lemon, I'm gonna take the zest off the lemon, so I'm gonna use that as well. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do with the lemon zest? I'm gonna put it right into the polenta. So, you get a nice lemony polenta underneath the shrimp. If you want to use the zest, why not? It's free. It comes with the lemon. Okay. So, you notice I haven't cut the shrimp yet. Now I'm going to turn them. And they should have a nice crust on the outside. Look at that. You don't, want, you don't want the shrimp to have all the same texture. You want a nice crunch on the outside. It's gorgeous. This is, just, this is just like the fundamentals of good cooking. You know, just like high heat, well seasoned, salt and pepper. Let the, let the pan do its job. Get a nice crust on the outside. You can, do, you can say the same thing for almost anything. Like a piece of fish, a steak, a burger, a piece of chicken. Nice and crusty, flip it, right? Salt and pepper. On this side, you can see like, let's just take a look at the shrimp in here. You can see, you can see it's how they're still translucent. The one thing about shrimp is you do want them to be cooked just through. Like we don't want raw shrimp, all right? And you can see it's still a little translucent there. Now, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cook them all the way because we have, we still have to make the sauce and until the shrimp are stone cold, they will continue that carryover cooking. Um, and then we're also gonna put them back in the sauce for last second. So you really wanna cook them about three quarters of the way. So I, I think I cooked them for probably what? Two and a half minutes or something like that? Total. And these are big shrimp. Okay, so you have like this oil in the pan, but you see there's drippings in the bottom. So what you do is you get rid of the, um, you get rid of most of the fat, and you still have some of those drippings on the bottom. And the way you get those part of the sauce is something called the glazing, deglazing. You're gonna deglaze it with the wine. Let's put some of the garlic in first. Splash of oil. Some garlic. Now just make sure that you don't overcook the garlic. You want to get it going, and now you can add the vino. Okay, so what's happening here is you take 
take like a wooden spoon or something, and you get, you get all those drippings that are on the bottom of the pan. You're cooking out the alcohol, you're saving the flavor of the grape, right? You're concentrating it. And I'm gonna add a little juice. And this goes really fast. Calabri chilies. I'm gonna add the parsley and thyme. I'm sorry, I'm gonna add the butter. And you always add the fresh herbs, literally at the very last second. I just want to taste this. You have to taste when you're cooking. It's the only way you're going to know. Nice and lemony. A little salt and pepper. And we're gonna put the shrimp right back in. Coat the shrimp in the sauce. 